At guard, a six-foot sophomore from Aurora, Illinois, number 11, Ryan Boatwright. And that guard. Physicality that Michigan State offers. He says, you better hit somebody because they're going to hit you. And a steal here for Boatwright. Challenging Appling, and it goes. Screen set all the game. And here they come on the run again. Boatwright, six to nothing, UConn. They've got a lot of lineup flexibility. They're going to have to handle the ball better. We talked about turnovers, and they've really turned it over. And UConn makes some pain. A tremendous surprise. Just turnover after turnover that UConn is turning into easy baskets. And you're not going to get much easier than that for Ryan Boatwright. Get so many layups and easy opportunities. Here's another one. You know, that's just that's just too easy. Stays never led. UConn ball. Boatwright using the screen. Olander gives it back to him, and the 17 footer for Boatwright is there. Evans off to Olander. Now the shot clock's down to three. Wide open, though, is Boatwright for a big three pointer. Boy, how do you let him get open? First round victory in the NCAA tournament for Vermont. Outstanding season. Boatwright hits the fadeaway. No one with the rebound. Here's Gafai. Boatwright, the pull up. Off the glass, did he call it? And even he's smiling about that one. Good inside position to rebound. Enish Wolf out there setting the screen right there for Boatwright, who takes the three and knocks it down. They're gelling a little bit better than I thought they would. Really like the guard play. But to me, it's they're playing with a, I think they're playing with a lot of energy and confidence right now. He picked up some tips from guys like Chuck Daly and Larry Brown. Larry Brown, yeah. Uh, Rick Adelman, a very underrated NBA coach. There's a three. Up and good is Ryan Boatwright. And it's the veteran that finishes it off with the basket at the other end. What did he ever? Boatwright, pretty up and over move. Garvey Young got his defender up in the air, and once he got him up there, just a step back and an easy three. He's got two field goals in the game. They're both three-pointers, and now a three-point opportunity at the other end by Boatwright. Play. He's got all four of Quinnipiac's points here in the overtime. Boatwright spinning. Got the roll. See, the two guards are controlling it right now. Under three to play. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Napier kicks it back out to Boatwright. Boatwright, baseline jumper. Napier or Boatwright has, but he's pretty good. Almost got that steal right there. Good grab by Boatwright. New Mexico by one. Boatwright got it. See, that's what he does so well. Or Fenton, I'm sorry. Boatwright. Boy, a rare outside jumper from Ryan Boatwright. Mayo together. Oh, understand, just don't turn it over and they can continue with this success. Both right off the dribble. So he will stay in the man-to-man. -man. Down to 12 on the shot clock. Both right recognizes it. He'll fire a three, and UConn has tied it up. Here's Boatwright, one-on-one. Ryan Boatwright cuts the lead to three. Boatwright with the catch and shoot. Substitution no. at his predecessor. The, the one, the finger. <laughs> Calhoun in traffic. A tough yeah, shot. Yeah. That yeah. is his eighth. That's what happens. When he doesn't touch the ball in the lane, he'll float out. Now he gets frustrated and takes a jump. Good inside out move. Good spacing. Good ball reversal. Rhodes was ready. Boat right. answers with the jumper. Eric penetrates. Blocked by Giffy. Here comes Boatwright with Rhodes. Tried to draw the foul. Makes the circus shot. This Griner, they got beat by Stanford. That was their shot. Stanford's a win, but that was their shot. Hit the perimeter. You have a chance to be able to compete with people. Boatwright with a steal. He's throwing yeah. up. He better get to the goal. And with a tough reverse. Good back and forth affair here with the Garden. Boat ride, yes. It's guard dominated. As we mentioned, they'll host game day on the 26th of January when Carolina comes to town. Boat ride with a steal. Got Napier with him. Spins, hangs, and hits. I'll tell you, Boat ride. And he stayed up two on the UConn. 8.25 to go here in the second half. Boat ride, yes. Yes, the shake and bake, man. 
The zone look here by NC State, slowing down UConn a little bit. Boat right, baseline, too easy. Where's the help? UConn down six, less than two minutes to go. Size has been the difference maker. Size on the interior, the big guy. They need it, and they get it from Boat right. That's 28 a footer. Tip back up, no good. Back out to Boat right, another three. This one will go, but let's. Ryan Boatwright's first attempt from the field is a three. Nothing run, and UConn has turned it over four of the last five possessions. Boatwright, a contested three. Uh, the three-point shot is just such a big part of Harvard's attack. Good move by Boatwright. Boatwright, baseline drive, and a nice-looking floater. And it's here down the stretch. Boat right on Chambers, quick on quick, and it's Boat right with the baseline J. That's the ability to create something out of nothing. I mean, this is this is great defense by Chambers. I mean, this is really good defense, and Boat right just makes a better. Boat right, one on one on Chambers, tough shot again. It will count. They'll call the push on Siani Chambers, and Ryan Boat right is beginning to take this game over. When you're as small as Ryan Boatwright, you better have some superior quickness and an ability to create space. And that's the third or fourth time we've seen him. Just a little bit of a fade, he elevates. As we near the two minute mark. Backdoor cut, Boatwright. Reverse layup, in and out, and back in again. And all of a sudden, the Hawks, who trailed 9 2, pull within three. Boatwright pull up three. Three. Queens, New York, hasn't practiced much. I asked Frankie Allen about him. He says he doesn't know the plays, but he's a player. Mays is feeling it, huh? Yeah, but he passed it right into the hands of Boatwright. Cowell tried to foul him and, and couldn't. Ryan Boatwright. Missouri in the NCAA tournament. Boatwright goes around Cowell. Ryan Boatwright. Hits the tough shot. 3.30 remaining first half. Huskies by a dozen. Boatwright wide open for three. Feeling it. Omar Calhoun had nine first half points. Napier sets up Boatwright for the wide open three. Four for four from downtown for Ryan. Shabazz Napier. Boatwright. Boy, they lost him on the split. Five for five. They are now eight for 11 from three point land. Frankie Allen was telling me, he says, normally these games can be a good measuring stick, but we are missing some pieces of the puzzle. Boat right with the explosion at six feet tall. Boat right's done a little bit of everything tonight, Coach Wenzel. Well, he's making the threes, but also the defense leads to this. One and done for Fordham. Ryan Boatwright right to the 10. This kid is so good getting to the rim. Little pull up by Ryan Boatwright. Out of the lane. Let them continue to shoot from the perimeter. Rebound and you're going to be able to get out and get some easy transition buckets. Boatwright for three. Pull up for two. Frazier left it short and here come the Huskies running again. Boatwright crosses over and lays it in. Quick start for Ryan Boatwright, the sophomore from Aurora, Illinois. Nine points and a two-point UConn lead. Little floater. Boatwright now with 14 points. In the game now for Connecticut. Here's Boatwright off the pass from Napier. Get a leak out. Here comes Boatwright. What does this kid do in a basketball game? Knocking down the jumper, showing off the hops that time, and he got up high on that one right there, Doug. This backcourt for UConn is impressive. He is a little dynamo. 19 points. He had one of these on Monday and has one here tonight. Ryan Boatwright with the basketball. 
Up and over. Thomas off the glass for two. B, and that time he showed the agility to get up and finish at the hole. UConn off the turnover. Count the basket and one. That's a new career high for Ryan Boatwright. We'll step away from the XL Center in Hartford. Boatwright and the Huskies on top by 17. Boland who started the first 18, but he's come off the bench in the last three. Boatwright. Tough. Boatwright. It's tough. Tough. Speed. Out of the locker room, Andy. Well, picking up exactly what Bill just said, Lorenzo Romar telling me, despite missing 21 shots, he felt very good about the first half. He said, we just got to make the... the Backdoor cut again. Two for two this half. And that, that's it in the floor. Lorenzo Romar loves him. Tough shot by Boatwright. <laughs> That's Boatwright. Boatwright pulls up and drains it. Third foul on Jamil Wilson for Marquette. And that three-pointer going down for Boatwright. Right back is Boatwright. has also played stellar tonight for UConn. Boatwright off balance. What a shot <laughs> of Omar Calhoun. Ryan Boatwright is a very difficult guard. How about the stop to in and out, then the bump to create space and over the top. Ladies and gentlemen, he's only six feet tall, and I think that's with high heels on. He's around 5'9". <laughs> Ryan Boat, I've been. If you mark catch, you got to know where Shabazz is on the floor. He's the guy that can hurt you. UConn, Boat Right, fade away. Yeah. Get it oh, what a <laughs> shot! <laughs> and right to the rim goes Boat Right. Those two are so dynamic. Ryan Boat Right and Shabazz Napier. Boat Right looking for something in transition. Look at the change of speed. Rebound to number five, Niels Giffey, who just checked in. Boat right. Boat right. Napier, the stop and go move, sets up his buddy Boat right. They would not have been happy had it been had it gone any other way. Boat right for three. Here come the Huskies looking for something in transition. Just like that. I mean, just like that. Knocked away by Napier, the double team from Wolf, and then here's another steal. And Boat right is ahead of everyone. Well, Ryan Boatwright, uh, he's just been electric all game long in transition. The little guy getting up and throwing it down. Transition has been really good to UConn. It's been based off of their defense. And how about that nice unselfish pass there by RJ Evans, just throwing it out and letting Ryan Boatwright chase it down. Tyler Homelander did a great job of walling him up, making that shot a little bit more difficult from the post. Boatwright pulls the trigger on the three and fires away, knocks it down. Wow. And they're well conditioned to be able to handle that kind of load. But right throws it up and it goes. I bet the home team didn't like it except for what? 11 of his family and friends from Aurora. A dozen for Cooley. Two point game. The Elliott. Oh, the finish for Bob White gets it right back. That silences the crowd. Transition 
A little high screen curling around and beautiful pass and catch. How about the hops from the young fellow? Three looked like Wolf got away with a push off for the offensive rebound. Boatwright a floater. And Ryan Boatwright has his first bucket of the night. Largest lead was 10. Oh, somebody's got to step on the foul line. Boatwright banks it home for three. <laughs> Boatwright for three. Started today that they might have snuck back into the top 25. Boatwright for three. Menem down 11. They have to stop this run and get a score. Boatwright knocks down a three to come out showing that once again. And we'll see what Kevin Ollie is diagrammed to break that up. And if we have Ryan Boatwright able to drive like that. A nice steal by Boatwright. Going to take it in by himself and flush it down. Oh, oh, he reminds me of Spud Webb. Boatwright with a tremendous drive, just weaving his way to the bucket. And UConn stepped up their offense for been 10 or 16 in the second half. At that time, Boatwright is the guy. He points plenty of time. We have to get some good opportunities here on offense, score, and get some stops. They want to get back in it. Boatwright reverses and gets fouled. <laughs> What a move by Boatwright this time, John. Oh, this kid's showing a lot of heart. He has no fear going inside. Watch Boatwright right here off of the screen and roll. He's really dips and doodle. Oh, against the big guy using the rim to shield the pit defense and scoops it up. And now with a chance, John, for the old-fashioned three-point play to cut this lead to five. Adams picks up his fourth foul as well. Boatwright drives and gets his floater to go, plus the foul. Whoa, this Boatwright, what a player he is, John. We talked about it a bit. It's him off the open. How about the trend in, in college basketball, not just in the Big East, as Boatwright buries a baseline, Jay. And Carter loses it. Three on nothing for the Huskies. And Boatwright throws it in. Well, <laughs> that Jerome Seagears is having. Well, he's hot, but that was just way too easy. That was Connecticut's fault on defense. Here's a three by Boatwright. And now both teams starting to heat up. Here's Boatwright working on Miller up and under. What a move by Ryan Boatwright. Now that's what he said publicly. Imagine what he said oh to him goodness. privately in the locker room. <laughs> Boatwright spins oh, and just shows the poise to throw it up. Looked like Wolf had a hand on it, but there are a couple of UConn Huskies up on that one. Napier with a finger roll. Evans got Boatwright on the wing. And Boatwright buries a three. Of course, a couple of guys to the bench. Bats has gone to the bench already. That's three on Hinton as well now. Boat right from outside, good. Three-pointer. Very aggressive defensively. Hinton almost ended up in our lap. Boat right. Boat right leaks out. Nolan wants a lob. Boat right just takes it in. Yukon with the lead. Approaching three minutes to go. Boat right again skies and drops in the floater. There's some confidence right now out of the locker room. How about the lead? Yes, sir. <laughs> what a difference. USF up by three on the road against Connecticut. We kind of withstood the surge by Connecticut. Now we're in this back and forth action. How about Boatwright? Well, look at this. Harrison coming out on Napier. Boatwright has not scored until now to tie the game at 51. Big East. Boatwright for three, and one. Smythe, a jersey product out of Don Bosco Prep and Ramsey. On the ball there, but he gets called for a whistle as Boatwright has a chance to go to the line for a conventional three-point play. And they are stuck on seven made threes for about the last 12 minutes. Boatwright from the airport. <laughs> 
Run out opportunity for Napier. Off the backboard. Showtime for the Huskies. Well, the defense of Shabazz Napier turned this game around. These are the ones most lately, but when they were behind, and take a look at the spectacular version here. Middle of the second half. Zone. Watch Syracuse's hands. Where are they? Boat right with the floater as he gets inside. He's got only six seconds left. He's keeping the ball, dribbling away the seconds. Precious seconds were dribbled away that time. Boat right wow. bails him out. Here, covered up defensively. Both right, three ball, yes. So each of the last two times that UConn has gotten the lead back, it's been a boat right three. Penetrating in underneath. Knocking it down, it's boat right again. On fire. 35-30 UConn. And UConn can smell it. Napier floats. Bam! Finishing his boat right. The six-foot sophomore finishing off the pass from the 6-1 junior. The two guards that Jim Beheim said are as good as any pair in the Big East. Doing a job against his orange here tonight. Brent, they're listed at 6'1", and they're probably 5'11". Boatwright, just no one finds him. And again, getting action behind the zone of Syracuse. They start the game off with Olander and Daniels. And that's a terrific pass from Napier. You have to be a good shooter to make a good pass at the rim. Napier is very well done. Syracuse basketball. Carter Williams deflected quickly by Napier. Here comes Boatwright. Here Cruz. Type of emotion sometimes it's hard to to regenerate and boat right in and Napier just came out here appearing to be flat boat started and carrying boat right with the steal gets the ball back and will go in against Hilliard nice job of blocking off by the Huskies look for some dread high ball screens right there boat right is so good at splitting those ball oh. screens and getting into defense <laughs> back in the tied game here is I would look for Kevin Alley to try to free up Shabazz Napier in some way. Boat right with a little step back, and boy, Kevin Alley's got to be happy with what he sees from his guards right now. Keep the game in front and contest shots. Boat right launches a three pointer that's good. Boat right from three. In the corner, he nails it. Right against Klahar. The floater falls. Coming the other way. To Boatwright. Haven't always finished plays, but I think they're moving well. Napier on the move. Finds Boatwright, who follows the play and nails the three. Napier found him right in the rhythm. Boatwright's floater falls. They did it several times in their game the other night at Georgetown and finished some really difficult drives. At the other end, Boatwright got the roll. Open shot instead of passing to Young. Boatwright throws it down with one hand. Evans with the pass. One shots here in the second half. Yeah, we talked about having to defend. And the ball gets out into the passing lanes, but any time in Starts against the pressure of Boatwright, and Boatwright on the steal. Circus shot, and he made it. Great job against the bigger Hopkins. From outside, you can really count on. What a long three. That should be four as Boatwright buries one. And Markel Starks. Ball's kicked away the run out for Boatwright. They need more of those with a rebound and still a chance for UConn. 3-12 to go. Boatwright with a runner. 
tough shot. You caught on a 7 nothing. Here we go hits that one for the old-fashioned three-point play. Napier, great pass to Boatwright. Nolan was supposed to give Olander a breather, and he's playing much, much better. There's Boatwright to put UConn back up by two. Marsuk did a better job than Mudge so far in this game. He's got a couple of lay-ins. Teardrop by Boatwright. No post player in the game for Connecticut. Right from long range. Way short. Watch out. Here comes Boatwright. And that's going to be a goal 10. Basket interference, in my opinion. Boatwright gets that one to go in the lane. Two-point game. Sounds like a man who knows where he's spending his Sundays usually <laughs> in the fall and season. Right on that couch in his nice Rhode Island home. Boatwright. And Connecticut's a little bigger here. They've got Leon Tolksdorf, 22 in blue. 6'8 freshman on the floor. Boltwright gets the field goal. His first of the second half. He's got just eight points. Boltwright. First three of the night for Ryan Boltwright. One of six, three of 13. Because Providence guards will get it, go, and go by you and take it right to the rack quickly. As will Ryan Boltwright. He wants. And a four on the perimeter. Boatwright on the drive. Playing their game because they're playing well enough to get in and win games. Napier off the nice ball fake out to Boatwright for three, and he's got it. You know, mind you, we talk about they're not thinking about the tournament. I'm sure they are. But mind you, this team was picked 15th. It's them as one of the last eight teams that are on the outside looking in. Boatwright connects for two. Let him make his move and find an angle to the rim. He had an easy look there. He just missed it. Boatwright, a little shimmy shake into the paint for the pull-up. Your offense, too late in the shot clock. Boatwright, off balance, and one! Well, sometimes you throw out your playbook when you have a talented player like Ryan Boatwright. Say, clear out. I'm going to make a play. Shake and bake. Shimmy shake. Whatever you want to call it, Beth. This is a really great player making a play in a big-time spot.